I am just about to wrap up. I'm back at the job site here. Look at the satellite, uh, Starlink satellite bracket, but just wanted to do another quick video. It's a beautiful day and I want your help to do something to name a little critter here. So let me just share a little story of the past two to three hours of what I've been doing. I've been out once I got these guys going, doing estimates and inspections, things like that for the past two to three hours up in the Logan Sport Peru area. And I'm shooting down 24 West to the next one. And I see this little thing kind of scurrying around the road. I was like, what the hell? And I'm going down the, the highway and I realized what it was. It was a kitten. So I, I miss it. And there's cars behind me. And I look in my mirror and there's a truck coming in the lane that was next to me. And it just, it, it can't swerve. There's a car next to it. So it just kind of aimed. So it missed it, but went over the top. And as I'm looking in my mirror, this little kitten starts rolling from the wind blown by the truck in between the vehicle. It looked like it got really close, possibly touched the tire, but not run over. I'm thinking, oh my God, I can't, I can't watch this thing, can't leave it. So I get over in the emergency lane, let that little bit of cars go by. And I'm looking, I was like, okay, let me back up real quick. I can back up quicker and running down the interstate like a lunatic or the highway. So I back up, I'm getting up to another slew of cars. I'm like, oh my God, they, they miss it. And I'm looking and here comes some semis and more cars. I'm like, this thing is not going to make it. I try to shoo it off to the north side of the road because I was westbound on 24 in the middle of nowhere. And it doesn't want to go north. It wants to cross back where it was and go into the eastbound two lanes of traffic. So I'm like, hell no, we can't do this because it was like right by an intersection. I don't know if it's Faro, if it got left, if it just, I don't know, but I didn't want to see it get hurt. Didn't want to leave it there just turn a blind eye to it i'd think about it all damn weekend so i'm trying to shoot this thing the next bit of cars and semis go by i'm like man this thing is gonna get run over no doubt about it i ended up reaching down for it and i'm like oh, god he's he's hissing at me <laughs> just trying to claw me i'm like i i have got nothing but my sleeves here so i try to pull my sleeves up and i'm going for it and he's trying to snap at me and hissing and i'm like oh my god I just think that pops into my mind is like crab fishing, lobster fishing or anything. You know, they'll try to get you and pinch you and you don't want that. So you got to get them just right. So I'm trying to get behind this thing, try to get around the neck here. I get it. And he's like going like this. I'm freaking out. There's semis and cars coming. I'm thinking, oh my God, people think I'm crazy. So I let that little slew of traffic go by. At this point, I'm on the, uh, the in the median area. My truck's on the right emergency lane. So I run across the road back real quick. I'm like, man, I can't set this thing down. He's going to do it again. He's psycho. So I get in the truck, set him down. And he jumps down on the floorboard. So he's down there. He's been riding shotgun for the past couple hours. Literally shotgun. <sighs> Let me know what you ought to, what you think we ought to call him. The first thing in my mind, my adrenaline is just pumping. I am dodging traffic. Like, I don't know, what's that little game? I don't even know. Just freaking out, like just going crazy. So I get in the truck. I calm down thinking... Man, this guy, uh, Dash and Rash, he, he got a little road rash on his nose when he was rolling underneath the truck that blew him over. I uh, just got a little scuff. Other than that, all of his bones, limbs, everything seems fine. He was psycho, <laughs> but he's calmed down since. Um, he's under the seat here. Let's go look at him real quick. Let me know what you think we ought to call him. If you got a good nickname that I can call him until I figure out what to do with him on Monday, uh, Humane Society or something, I, I don't know. I don't know if he's feral or what, but... He's definitely small and he's cute, and I didn't want to leave him there because he surely would have got run over. He's just hanging out down here. Is he scooting back further? There he is. He's back there, ways. You can see his nose is just a little. Let me try to reach back here real quick and see if I can scare him forwards just a little bit. I got a hoodie back there so it can't go any further into my boxes and things, but hey, meow. Yeah, really small, really cute. There's a little scuff on his nose. That's why I was thinking rash. But then I was thinking dash because he's dashing in and out of traffic. So you got a good nickname, let me know. Comment down below, let me know what you think we should call him. The Grand Riffing Mascot, at least for the weekend. I got to get up here, check this uh, Starlink satellite dish bracket out. I don't know if it tucks under shingles and shingles lay on top. I don't know if it fastens the screws right down. We're about to check it out. That's the only first one I've ever seen to install. Then I got to get back to my family. My little girl's got a Halloween party to get to. So this will be a quick stop here. And let me know what you think we ought to call them. Until next time, be safe. And we'll see you then.